This is uh, part two of the Creo 2.0 uh, sectioning video that I was creating. I wanted to show uh, a couple of more advanced features or functionality with sectioning um, and also show how they work in assemblies. So you can see here in the main model tab you have your sectioning uh, option here like we had before. Let's go in the Z direction. Again I want to point out you can turn on and off your cross hatching uh, to see the difference between the various components. Uh, you can turn on the flat view so that as you move the cross section in and out you see the result. Same as you would do in, uh, in the 2D or in the uh, part mode. Let's go back to zero here. What I want to point out is under assembly you have some other options uh, under models. You can include and exclude models very easily. So let's say that I wanted to exclude a model from the cross section. You simply click it and now as you drag this you notice that that model is not affected by the cross-section. Uh, this is really useful when you're trying to maybe cut through a let's say a pin and you wanted to show uh, the internals but maybe you wanted to keep a certain component uh, from being uh, cross-sectioned. Let's go ahead and include them all back. Another one you'll notice is under options you can show interference so let's say we let's change this to like pink uh, to green okay uh, what happens is it'll color green anything that is, has interference uh, and this gives you an opportunity to kind of analyze that a little better. So let's go ahead and create this cross section um, here and you notice that right there is where we had that interference. Um, obviously there's a few things we can do if we activate uh, I'm sorry, activate this cross section you can take a quick uh, measurement, go analysis, go to measure and you can measure from here to here and you get this uh, 1.0 uh, point uh, one zero zero distance. I will cover the new measuring tool in Creel 2.0 on a different video but I just wanted to show that, that that's how much interference we have there. Okay so let's go ahead and fix that so let's go ahead and um, activate this model let's go ahead and th this is the model that we want to um, modify Let's go ahead and change this to two inches. Remove that 0 0.100. Okay, so let's go ahead and activate the assembly again. So as you can see here, when you're inside of your sectioning uh, options, the green is not showing anywhere because so, we eliminated that interference. So again, a few tools they added to sectioning and uh, in Creo 2.0 that just makes things a little easier. Um, with that let's go ahead and switch uh, over to the base or let's open up the base. I want to show you one more advanced feature. Let's go ahead and open that base up. When you're creating a cross section, uh, let's go section and let's create it off of this surface. Again very easy now. Uh, one of the things that I didn't show you before um, is this orb up here. When you click on this orb it gives you the power to be able to manipulate that cross section by angling it um, or even rotating it or both. Um, and now you have something that's more of an advanced type of sectioning happening without the need of creating a datum plane beforehand. Of course when you look at the 2D profile you can see how uh, this 2D profile is reacting to this particular uh, changes I'm making. So again, um, some very powerful features they added uh, to sectioning. So here I created a cross section that is at some odd angles uh, without having to worry about datums. So again, just wanted to point out that uh, there's a lot of power in, in what they did. And just real quick, if I show the cross section on both of these simultaneously, um, you know, in some cases you may want to do that, show two cross sections at once. So. With that said, that's just uh, sectioning again, a little more advanced uh, going over the orb and how it works on assembly. I will be creating another video uh, showing the new analysis measure tool in Creole 2.0 that's also improved.